In this example, I'm going to use polynomial long division to divide this polynomial by the binomial x plus 4. So for long division, I'm going to start out by putting the x plus 4 out front and then putting my uh, box here. And then I'm going to go ahead and write this polynomial inside the little bars here. And extend that line to the end. Okay, so I'm going to look at the leading terms first for each of these. And I'm going to ask myself, what do I need to multiply by x to get 7x cubed? And of course that answer is 7x squared. So I'm going to go ahead and line up those x squared terms together. So 7x squared times x makes 7x cubed. And then I also need to multiply it by the constant here. So 7x squared times positive 4 is plus 28x squared. And notice that all these like terms are aligned. And so in this algorithm now, I need to subtract. So what's going to happen, I'm going to go ahead and change the sign of these terms and add. And that's the same as subtraction. What I notice then is these leading terms cancel and I have 23x squared minus 28x squared, so I'll have negative 5x squared. And then of course in our algorithm, the next thing we do is bring down. Okay, so let's look at the leading terms again, x and negative 5x squared. What do I have to multiply by x to get negative 5x squared? Well, that'll be negative 5x. So let's go ahead and write that with all those linear terms here lining up, so x and x. So negative 5x times x was my negative 5x squared, but I also have to multiply that by the constant. So negative 5x times positive 4 gives me negative 20x. Okay, again, I'm subtracting here. So the way I'm going to subtract is by changing the sign and then adding. And you'll notice here that these lead terms will cancel. And again, that's by design. And I have negative 9x plus 20x, and that'll give me 11x. And then for the last term here, I'm going to bring down and say plus 44. And then once again, look at this first term with the first term. What do I have to multiply by x to get 11x? Well, that's just 11. So let's go ahead and write these constants so they line up. And then let's go through and multiply. 11 times x is 11x. And 11 times 4 is positive 44. And finally, I need to go ahead and subtract here. So I'm going to change the sign and then add. And what I notice is those cancel and those cancel, leaving me with nothing down there, which means there is no remainder. So uh, this binomial divides this polynomial evenly without remainder. And the answer then that I get is 7x squared minus 5x plus 11.